Hello everyone and welcome back. So uh, in today's video I came up um, with a bunch of products that I use every day um, that can be used to achieve basic everyday simple makeup looks and yeah if you are curious to see what products I'm using or what products I think you should have in your makeup bag just keep on watching okay then so i came closer to the camera and you can see all of the pores on my face and everything else but that's fine and i will start with the first thing which is primer and i'm currently using this one from max factor face Finity. it does a great job it's a great primer it's the best one i found so far for my skin and you can use any primer that suits your skin you don't have to use this one in particular and you can use your moisturizer instead of a primer it's not the same as a primer, but at least you're going to have a base for your makeup. The second thing is foundation, and this double wear from Estee Lauder is great for combination to oily skin. But again, you can use any foundation that suits your skin. You can use a powder foundation, a BB cream, a CC cream, anything that suits your skin best, that's what you should use. And I'm using my beauty blender to blend out the foundation. This foundation from SL Lauder has medium to full coverage. I prefer the medium coverage, that's why I only applied one layer, but you can definitely build it up to a full coverage. I was only looking in the viewfinder, so I hope I did a good job. And the next thing is powder, and I'm using this one from Laura Mercier, it's a translucent powder, and you definitely need the powder, especially if you have combination to oily skin, you want your makeup to last for longer. And I'm applying this powder all over my face, but I try to apply a bit more in my T-zone, because that's where I get oily. And I definitely don't want to get shiny in that area. So, the next thing is bronzer, and I'm using Hola from Benefit. It's such an amazing bronzer. I truly, truly recommend it. You don't have to buy this one. You can buy any bronzer you want. But this one is so pigmented. Yeah, just look. I've already messed up. I put too much and I'm going to have to blend, blend, blend. So definitely be careful when you apply it as you might put a bit too much just as I did there. Whoops. And I had to go and get the mirror because I couldn't see what I'm doing. I couldn't just see myself properly in the viewfinder. It's definitely easier when you don't do it in front of the camera and I'm applying this all over my face really just to define my face a little bit and give it a bit of color because I'm very pale. And one secret I'm going to share with you is that you can use your bronzer as an eyeshadow and you see me doing it here. I'm using the bronzer to define my crease. Cool, right? That's why I think it's great to have a bronzer. You can see me there defining my eyes and it looks great, doesn't it? And the next thing is blusher and this one is MAC and it's in the color Melba. And I like to use a blusher because I'm very pale and I like a bit of color in my cheeks. But a great tip for you you can actually use the bronzer as a blusher. If you don't want to spend extra money on a blusher, just use a bronzer. It does a really great job. And we are moving on to highlighters. And this one is Soft and Gentle from MAC. Again, any highlighter will do. Or you might prefer to skip this step if you don't like highlighters. I like to apply this on the high points of my cheeks just to bring a little bit of light to my face. I also apply it on the bridge of my nose and on the top of my lip. And just wait there because I have another tip for you. I'm actually using this highlighter to apply it on my eyelid. <laughs> yes, it does a great job as an eyeshadow as well. And yeah, why not? If you can, why not? And now I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I like using a powder product with my eyebrows. But this one right here I'm showing you right now is not the right shade for me. And what I do instead is using one of these eyeshadows with this little brush. And I found this eyeshadow to be the perfect color for my eyebrows. And this time I've not done a great job at doing my eyebrows. Oh god, no. But let's just pretend everything is fine. 
And I have one more tip for you, and this is that you can actually use your eyebrow product to define your eyes. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using my eyebrow product to define my eyes a little bit. And of course, we can't forget mascara. I have here this one from Tarte, but again, any mascara will do. And I'm applying this on my top and on my bottom lashes. And I've only applied one layer. I normally only apply one layer when I do a simple everyday makeup look. Only one more thing to mention which is lipstick or lip balm or lip gloss. And I have here this lip balm from L'Occitane and this Clinique lipstick. And for today's look I'm using this lipstick from Clinique. But any lip product you want to use it's absolutely fine. And this is my simple everyday makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching. Okay, then I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what are your essential makeup products, your go-to makeup products. I'm very interested in reading your comments. Um, so yeah, that's about it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!